Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for January 1st through the 3rd. I hope you're doing absolutely freaking phenomenal. Let's see what we get for you today. I'd like to welcome back all of my viewers, whether you're a VIP member, a subscriber, or somebody who's brand new. Super happy to have you here. If you are a repeat visitor or somebody brand new, would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below so that we can stay connected. I'll wait. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up too to help this video get out to others that might be in need. All right, my darlings, we are back to 2022. Let's get started with a bang. All right, let me set you to the table so we can see what your cards are going to be. We're gonna hop right into this. Pisces, I usually do an extended for you, so if that's of interest to you, go ahead and queue on up that extended link down below in the description box. All right. Okay, on your side, we have the Knight of Pentacles, your person side, King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles, between the two of you, this Knight of Wands. I will adjust these later. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right, my dears, let's see what we've got, all right? Let me make some minor adjustments to set these up where I can view them now properly. <laughs> all right, my dears, your overall energy is that of the Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles normally when we see it, it's kind of like this joyous energy, right? They say it's gaiety, it's happiness. It's, you see this juggler having a grand old time. In this particular case, we have a woman who is here dancing, having a grand old time. However, something is missing. So Pisces, I feel like something is missing from your life, or at least you feel like it is. You're enjoying your life. You're, you're still living life, but yet feeling like something is just not quite right there. Something is out of your reach. Wow, this is looking pretty darn amazing. Okay, so when we look at you and your person, you guys both have the, the pentacles. So this could be two people that are focused very much on their work. Pisces, you've got this knight of coins. Oddly, Pisces, you're a little guarded with this person. Normally I see you wide open and, and willing to accept somebody in your life, but in this particular case, you are guarded. Your person is focused on some sense of stability in their life. They could be looking at the relationship going, well, is this something that can move forward in a, in a great way? But they're definitely focused on enjoying, enjoying the fruits of their hard labor. They may just be sitting around thinking about you. You are focused on the connection. Is this a connection that's going to blossom and grow sometime? Is this a connection that two people will give equally to build a nice solid foundation between the two of you? Yes, there's chemistry. Yes, there's an emotional connection. Yes, there's a spiritual connection, a physical connection. But you're in this space of going, can we fill each other's cup up with love? Is it possible? Is it possible to move forward? Because quite frankly, Pisces, you are deeply in love with this person. You feel a sense of happiness. Those of you that are dealing with a brand new connection, you feel a sense of happiness with your person. You feel a sense of joy. You feel a sense of contentment. You want nothing more than to hold this person and experience happiness with them. But your challenge may be that this person isn't reaching out. Knight of Cups in the reverse. This, when we have the Knight of Cups coming up in a challenge, this is somebody who has full intentions of giving to the connection. This is somebody that has full intentions of giving you what you need, Pisces. But then when the time comes, they're distracted. Perhaps it's this person getting distracted by work. Perhaps it's this person getting distracted by the fact that they know they're not giving to the connection as they should. Perhaps this is this person taking you for granted Oh, my Pisces will always be there. Let me go deal with this work situation. Pisces isn't gonna walk away from me. Let me just go deal with this other situation. They're not going anywhere. I know that Pisces. Pisces is gonna hang on tight, but they're showing up with this energy of falling flat. 
making promises and not following through. Their actions are not meeting their words. Does that make sense? Oh my goodness, I just saw something. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Pisces. Woo, this is two people that are so meant to be. <laughs> so meant to be. The king and queen of coins. I didn't see that before. King and queen of coins. This is your perfect match. This is somebody that could be a potential long-term partner for you. This is somebody who has the potential to bring about a sense of stability in your life. Their heart space is on the seven of coins. This person has future plans with you, Pisces. If the two of you are not married and not in a long-term committed relationship, this person has future plans with you. They're trying to fill, figure out how to plant the right seeds to make this grow into something beautiful. How to come to you the right way and give to the connection to where both of you feel happy and content and can reap the rewards of a good, solid relationship. This person may be working on their financial structure in order to come towards you with a stable offer. They want to build with you. It could be that this person sees that the two of you can build an empire together. And it's like, how do we build this, this beautiful structure? Oh, I'm telling you, this person wants to be with you, Pisces. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is moving a relationship along. Pisces, I think somebody's coming forward wanting a relationship with you. You're showing up as their perfect partner. They know it. They're coming forward. They've been taking their time, but they know that you're the one that they want. They know that you're the one that can fulfill their desires with regards to a long-term committed relationship, that it would be good. It would be filled with love. It would be filled with contentment. It would be filled with financial security as well as personal security, personal sense of protection, that you will always have their back, that you will be nurturing, that you will be loving, that you will be kind, and that you will be a strong, independent force. This person wants to be with you. Uh, what comes next? Hold on. <laughs> Magician. This may be something that you've been trying to manifest. Nine of swords, fearing that it would never come. Five of coins. Somebody's got some regrets about how they may have acted. Underneath that is the three of cups. This could be a reunion between two people. Look to your inner strength. I feel like it fell on their side. So I feel like they are, yeah, they're looking to their inner strength to come towards you, right? They're looking towards their inner strength to come towards you. Falling on your side was love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and we withstands every situation. I know that's so hard, right? <laughs> Every situation, Kimmy? Did you just say every situation? Well, what about this? <laughs> every situation. Love endures. All right. Chop wood. There may be something they're having to let go of. It fell on their side. Also falling on their side is Yang in the reverse. So Yang in the reverse tells me that this person may be struggling to, um, to embrace their masculine energy as a result of something that has happened in their life. So maybe they're not feeling super confident to come towards you just yet, but we definitely see that they are going to. Anything else? The tribe. Okay, so... Friends and family may be stepping in to assist with this particular connection in some way. All right, my dear Pisces, that's what I have. I have a perfect match. A perfect match coming together. What I'm going to do, Pisces, is I am going to take this into the extended. We're going to look a little bit more at what your person is thinking and feeling. Um, we definitely see they want to build with you. They want something to start, a fre start fresh between the two of you. And there is a lot, a lot of, there is a lot of love here. So we're going to look a little bit more into that and see what is coming 
along the way. But so far it looks phenomenal. Stay tuned for extended preview. I'll be right back. Hello, my dearest Pisces. So we took a look at a lot of stuff in your extended. Um, this person has some really big plans for you, big time. They're showing up as an emperor, not once, but twice. Um, this particular person definitely has some major plans for you, Pisces. It's something that they have really, really taken into very deep consideration. And they have had to make a sacrifice for you. We have quite a few cards. I took cards from the Gilded Tarot Royale. I took cards from, oh gosh, I forget the name of this one. <laughs> My little tiny cards, I forget what they're called. Um, the, this Lenormand deck, as well as our other Ro Lenormand deck. And I also took some Whispers of Love and the Zodiac 108s. Zodiac 108. So we took a lot of cards, kind of dug deep. We, we saw what they're thinking regarding you, what they're feeling regarding you, what the short-term prospect of this connection is, what the long-term prospect of this connection is. There is a very specific message for one of you for sure in this reading that um, may be quite important. And so good luck to you. If this is of interest to you, Pisces, there is a link down below in the description box, as well as in the comments. As always, Pisces, super happy to have you here. Love and light. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. We'll see you soon.